All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am, as always. We're jumping right back into our game save here. Picking up right where we last left off with, that is right, the Nether DLC. So, in the previous episode, we went ahead and we went through the Warped Forest. It was really, really fun. Really cool aesthetics. I mentioned, I've been mentioning it for the past few episodes here, but... Um, they really knock it out of the park with the aesthetics when it comes to the maps. Now, the storyline could use a little bit more work. We've talked on that, too. Um, I talked really more on it in the last episode, so I tr will try not to repeat myself too much with it. But we also did unlock, within our missions here, the Crimson Forest. The secret location of the Crimson Forest. Which looks really cool. We are a high enough power level. There's a few things that we could potentially find here. So I'm kind of erring on the side of going to the Crimson Forest and looking around and seeing what we can find before we continue on our main uh, storyline here of the Basalt Deltas. Or the main path, I should say. The main missions. Not like secret missions or side missions or anything like that. But um, yeah. So let's go to the Crimson Forest. That is what I'm erring on. Let's just jump into it. Don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I feel like it's going to be very similar to, obviously, the Warped Forest, but now with the red aesthetic to it, there isn't going to be a narrative. And hey, actually, for once, it's a secret mission, and they customized the load-in screen to be something different than what they, they've always had before, which is hilarious. They've always had the same exact secret mission load-in screen. I've pointed it out a couple of times as we played through, uh, but they finally have changed it up in this one. We're getting some weird noises right off the bat, though. Holy smokes. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for this. The other thing I was thinking about, actually, after I recorded the last episode, was that we were in the Warped Forest, and in the base Minecraft game... Oh, let's check out. We only have two chests to find here, so that's not too bad. But in the base Minecraft game, in the Warped Forest, you can find a lot of Endermen. However, we only encountered one. Which was kind of interesting. I'm like, I'm not complaining considering Endermen in this game are more so like mini bosses to take on. Jeez, okay, we picked up a sprout armor. Okay, so this is definitely new. What is this? Health potions heal nearby allies. Traps and poison uh, traps and poisons nearby mobs when rolling. Okay, I see what it's saying here. This looks really cool. Bag of souls as well. Now, it doesn't help with our current build. Um, it could be cool if we had, like, a poison build going. We definitely should look into trying a different build. I know I mentioned it in the last episode that it would be cool to try out something different for our build because we've been rocking this one for quite some time now. Uh, but it's one of those things. It's kind of hard to... Ooh, it's kind of hard to fix it if it's not broken, you know? Ooh, we did pick up a Slayer crossbow. This does look pretty sick. All right, I need to I need to take these guys out before I can take an in-depth look at what we got here. Powerful shots and hits multiple targets. So compared to what we're currently rocking, it has a lower speed but way more power. This is the treasured heirloom of many legendary hunters. Um, we do have a multi-shot, gravity, chain reaction, and tempo theft. It'd be awesome if we had infinity on it, much like our harp crossbow. But you know what? We do need to upgrade our harp crossbow. <clears throat> it is getting a little bit low down on the damage side of things, or the level side of things. It's 64, and I mean, look, we're picking up 70s already. We're picking up er like early entry level 70 level items here. So we definitely got to upgrade this bad boy. I think it's the lowest of our bunch. It is the lowest. So let's put this on. We have plenty of uh, enchantment points. So let's put multi-shot on it. Why not? We also have chain reaction. Five arrows in all directions upon impact. Or yeah, let's try that one. And worst case scenario, if we're not feeling it, we can always uh, <clears throat> switch back to our other, um, our heart bow. When we can put it, obviously, into the blacksmith to upgrade it. Whoa, okay. To, to upgrade it to um, get those enchantment points back. Oh my gosh! This is actually kind of sick. Now, if it had infinity, it'd be awesome. Now, it is extremely slow, I will say that. 
I feel like we have had better luck. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? We've had higher speeds on other builds for sure, or with our harp crossbow, definitely quicker. Interesting, it fired only one arrow. Oh, we do have a boss here of some kind. I did see it pop up. And we're completely out of arrows. <laughs> That's why. We're struggling. Alright, I guess if we can get some souls here, we should be good to go. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. It's 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 nice, don't get me wrong. Are we going in a good direction here? Getting ourselves into a pickle, that's what we're doing. Oh my gosh. We're so slow. We are so slow with things. At least we have some souls. <laughs> I wish we had arrows. That would make me feel so much better. Okay, so that actually is the way we need to go. So we were actually exploring in an area that we didn't have to go. Okay. There's so many paths here. So many different paths. So much room for activities. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really vibing with this bow right now. Let's switch back over. It's cool. It is very, very cool. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time... It's just... It's not the same. It's not the same. We have a proven method here. Of how to uh, to take out mobs. All right, we do have a gas. Oh my gosh! This is definitely a first here. We it definitely is a first. Okay, let's get some of these guys taken out, so I'm not getting ambushed from every single possible direction. Well, it's just that way is the right way to go now too. So maybe maybe we were exploring an area that we didn't necessarily need to go down earlier, and this is the right way to go. Yeah, it does look like we need to go back that way, so we will go back that way, don't worry. Jeez. Have that. It'd be sick if we could hit those back, like in the base game, but I don't believe we can, we just kind of have to avoid it. I don't know why I'm avoiding the, um... Oh my gosh, I'm avoiding everything because we have, like, no health, that's why I'm avoiding things. Alright, health potion. I feel like our health potion did regen pretty quick there. <clears throat> Come on, arrows for the win. Alright, I think we got him taken out. Yes, we did. Perfect. Jeez. Okay, that was not easy. We did get a cutlass, though. Chicken cutlass for the win. But that was our first gas, which is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually kind of cool. I was, ooh, oh no, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> uh, I'm going too quickly, I gotta, I gotta slow down. Take my time here, my guy. Take your time. Let your potions regen a little bit. There you go, I'm so proud of you. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta self-motivate your way through these. Talk your way through what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> was there anything at all down here? There's nothing. What a waste of time. There is another way on this other side here, though. That I did miss. Chest? Question mark? No. Period. Alright. I mean... Again, I'll say it. Environment, aesthetics, 10 out of 10. I do feel like our potions are regening extremely quickly for some reason. Does this go somewhere? Just down here. <clears throat> Alright. So, this doesn't go anywhere either. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just bombing out here. Alright. Careful hit for more ghasts. Oh, that was the end of our arrows.
Damn, we took out both of those guys. Okay, this is not the right way to go, but hey, we got a full explore, right? Full explore. Oh. I really, really want to, like, hone in my skills on using the, uh... The killer blade here, the killer pinwheel. Because I feel like there's so much potential for damage on it. Like, so much potential. Okay, please have a chest down this way. We've been really bombing out. There's only two chests for us to find, too, and this is a secret area. Like, I'm really, really surprised. Kind of anticipated that there would be more. Alright, y'all need to go away. Y'all need to go away. Interesting sound effects. Nothing! Alright, we need to hop back to the main area here. Continue on the proper way forward. Alright, we're back on the main path here. Getting hit by little boars coming at us. But nothing too crazy thus far. I did find some arrows, which was a nice find. Finally, I feel like it took us forever to find some arrows. guys out of here holy smokes okay now we do have a couple different sideways to go down as well through here so we're obviously going to explore those and see what we come across hopefully we'll find at least one of the chests that it says it's supposed to be here i really am not a fan of those guys as you guys know Ooh, okay, this looks interesting. Ooh, hoo hoo, this is what I'm talking about right here. Heck yeah. Ah. Why am I not surprised? So definitely, this is why you full explore. Come across an obsidian chest. That is why. You all done? Oh, hoo -hoo. we picked up the mechanized saw blade, boys. Ooh, this thing I hear is amazingly cool. Um, it doesn't really have too much um, on it. It does have exploding. It has a radiance and then it has leeching. So not like the best stuff on it, <clears throat> but at the same time, it is really cool. I'm going to get rid of this. And our chicken cutlass, we don't need that in our inventory. But yeah, this thing, it actually... Let me see if I can get a good good shot of it here. It actually moves, or it has an animation. It, it moves. It has an animation to it, which is pretty cool. So we'll definitely try this out. What were the attributes on it again? I already forgot. So long, continuous attacks. <clears throat> That's pretty sick. I do wish it had a little bit... Um, different enchantments on it that'd be really nice i wish there was a way that we could alter enchantments on the weapons that you find that would be really really nice to at least like give you a chance to re-roll what you have on them it would be really cool but another another um <clears throat> thing that they'll have to implement in at some time Trying to use this out, but I don't want to use it on an enemy that's just gonna completely destroy us. We have some supplies here. Okay, you don't really see that that often. Ooh, and a bunch of arrows. That's what I'm talking about. I definitely needed those. Oh, what was that? Do we have a villager here? No, we gotta find a key. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh, this thing is so, so cool. Hey, we did get a uh, get our chest here. Is this one of our chests? It is. We only have one more chest to find. I guess the obsidian chest counted as that as well. Oh, so cool. Alright, well, I already know that we're going to have a, a fight here. They don't really hide it from you. You can kind of tell right away when you're gonna you're about to get into a fight. Oh, 
Okay, even though this thing doesn't give us souls, it's pretty sick. I'd love to make a build off of this, especially if we were to get one that was a little bit nicer than what we currently have. Again, better enchant enchantments would be awesome. There we go. Open the door. Open up the gate. Please let me through. Oh, well, I guess I'm down here now. Didn't really mean to be. Because I kind of wanted to explore the other way. We do have another gas here. Holy smokes. Okay, I did not anticipate seeing a gas. Uh, let's hit literally every single thing. <laughs> Whoa, level up, boys. Level up. That is what I'm talking about right there. Oh, this thing is sick. Okay. We got it. Easy peasy. Let's throw that over there. Got him. Whoa, what is that? Blast fungus. That looks pretty sick. Okay, we do need to go back here. I did want to explore this way. Just to be safe. Okay, no, there's nothing up here. Okay. I just wanted to be safe. You know, you never know. Don't want to miss anything. There is some pork down there, but I'm not really interested. Oh, okay, there's a way to go that way, too. Okay, I guess we have to go. Well, we don't have to go this way, but... Oh, this thing is so sick. Okay. If we can find another one with better enchantments on it, I'm gonna be so happy. We might have to spend some time looking, because this thing is super cool. Oh, and there we go. We did, we're, we're dead. Holy smokes, guys. Wow, there's so much to explore here. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Well, and not like two seconds later, we found another obsidian chest here. But we obviously are gonna have to fight some mobs because, you know, this wouldn't be a... Uh... Oh, dude, okay. We do need to look at that, that fungus, too. The exploding fungus that we got. Very curious as to what it is. Alright, hang on. Let's take a look here. Um, we don't need our chicken cutlass. We don't need that. Where is this? Blast fungus. Each fungus rolls a different direction that explodes and deals damage. Kind of cool. I think we're going to get rid of our bees to free up some inventory. I think we're going to get rid of this. Eh, we'll hold on to this bow for the time being, I guess. Let's see what we got in here. All right. So we got a broken saw blade. Interesting. Which is a continuous attack as well, but it's definitely not the same. It's not the legendary as that we have, because it's broken. Weakening, committed, thundering, exploding, and dynamo. I mean, it's really not that amazing. It's cool, but the one we have is definitely cooler for the time being, so. Alright, now I'm going to keep looking on I'll bring you guys back if we find something additional. Alright guys, so we have been going here for a while now. We were back up in this direction. I full explored all the way down over here, all the way over here. These two areas were where the obsidian chests were, um, and now we're making our way even further. Haven't really found much more, but I did want to show you guys these cool features to the map itself. So you'll come across this, where you'll find an area where it's 100% separated from the main land. Now, the only way to get to these is to find a high point, like so, and to roll into them. Just like that. Um, now, thus far, doing this and coming onto these ones hasn't yielded me anything spectacular. And then to get back, obviously, you do the same. Um, to go to a high place and then try to roll back into the, the way that you came. But I haven't found anything on these areas, but I think it's a really cool additional you know, um, feature to the landscape and the game progression that there are these areas that you can go through that you basically need to get to by rolling over to them and they're a separate island in general. Now, I do know that there is a ghast over here because it did fire at me before, um, which is not cool. 
I'm gonna try and make my way over to it. Holy smokes. Okay, we just got like 110% destroyed. Oh my gosh, okay. Raise the gate. Okay, so we're moving on to the next mission already here. But I'm trying to get back and take out this gas. Oh, avoid the lava. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, oh my gosh. We got a chicken cutlass out of it. Probably not the smartest way to go about it. I will admit myself. I'll be the first to admit. Not the smartest way to do that. But... It's okay. We're regen in health now, which is awesome. We have another gas up here? Is that what I was seeing? Ooh, another broken saw blade. I wish we could find another mechanized one like what we got here, because these things just do so much damage. So much damage. Like, <clears throat> I mean, as you guys can see, I've switched off of our soul dagger to use just this because of how awesome it is. Yeah, we do got- Ah, we do got that guy following me. Where are we at? Get out of here. Okay. So we do need to raise the gate. That is the next um, mission here for us to do. We do need to get to four objectives, it looks like. Yeah, four different objectives through that area over there. So let's make our way back over there. We do want to avoid the lava. I don't know if there is armor that could help us with, you know, not taking a fire damage. Or at least there would be an enchantment that would help with that. Uh, because if you guys remember in the Howling Peaks DLC, there was armor that would help you against the wind. So that the winds wouldn't be pushing you into nor off the cliffs. So if they had something similar in this, um, it, it would be pretty awesome. It does look like we're probably going to have to go through some mob fights here. Or something. Maybe not. Ooh, we do have a new location here. What did we find? The Soul Sand Valley Mission Unlocked. It's actually kind of funny. It's like Secret Mission Ex Inception because um, we found a secret mission within a secret mission. Jeez. Get out of here. All right, how are we doing with stuff? We're doing good. We are doing good. Let's get this next one unlocked here. Okay, we gotta go this way. Get that one up and going. There's gonna be one more over here. And one right there. Easy peasy, find the next portal. Hmm. All right, find the next portal. I mean, it's also interesting too that all the secret locations thus far have been extremely easy to find. I mean, it's not like they've been super hidden out, you know, like in a secure area that you have to go through a puzzle to find. No, everyone thus far has been um, out in the open that you could pretty much easily find as long as you're paying attention as you're going through the game here. Anything over this way? Nothing. Are we missing anything? No, we're still at three chests. This is definitely one of the longer, like, secret missions. I feel like they should have almost just made it a normal mission than a secret mission. But, hey, to each their own, I guess. It is what it is. I mean, at least we have a lot of content to get through for this DLC. So I guess I, I shouldn't be complaining on that, that front. I did like that we come across these, like, piglin outposts here, and we gotta take them out. It is pretty cool. Holy smokes at the amount that we still need to go through here. Alright. Alright, guys. Well, I'll keep moving along here. Alright, guys. We need to be getting close here. Um, you wouldn't... You, you would be surprised <laughs> at how much we had to go through to actually get here. We were like way, way down here. I had to come all the way up through here. There's a lot to actually go through. And of course, we need to get through the arena battle. Survive the ambush, obviously. So, so surprising. If there is a ghast, I will be a little bit disappointed because, um... Yeah, those ghasts are not fun to have to go through. At all. Oh, there's 110%. Who gasps? Oh, okay, this is gonna be a rough battle. Okay, okay. 
Let's let's get into a good spot here. I don't think it can hit us. I and I got rid of my bees. My bees were gonna be my my helpfulness here, so. Oh jeez, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we're gonna battle it here. See what we can get done. Alright guys, so I got through that battle, but holy smokes. Was it difficult? <clears throat> um, with those two ghasts and just the build that we have going right now, and there were no other mobs that spawned when the ghasts the ghasts spawned, so I wasn't able to get enough souls, or I didn't have enough souls already to get our spectral arrows, which kind of is a bummer because those would have been extremely useful in this case scenario. So, but that's okay. We were able to make it through, and we did have a backlog of arrows, which definitely helped us out in the long run. It doesn't look like there's really anything. There's that over there, but I don't think there's going to be anything there. There is the portal that is probably going to take us back to camp. So, let's hit it. Victory is ours. And that's probably going to do it for the episode. A very, very... I was expecting it actually to be a very short episode with a um, secret mission or a secret level like this one. Uh, but that actually ended up being one of the longer ones for sure. All right, let's see what we get from this chest. We did get more Blast Fungus, so nothing too crazy there. Um, obviously, we already had some, but <clears throat> we can obviously switch her out there. Soul Focus increases the amount of soul damage that you deal. That's actually pretty cool. Um, that is actually a really cool one. This actually would be really nice, other than the fact that this gives us a plus 30 ranged damage, which is extremely, extremely useful for us to have. Okay. Looks like our blacksmith is done with some stuff. I don't even remember what we put in there. Oh, yes, our frostbite armor we put in there. I think what we're going to put in then is um, this, the slayer crossbow, just to um, get the enchantments off of it. That would be very nice to do. And then we're also going to throw in our Eternal Knife here so we can upgrade it to a higher level as well. So those will go in there, and that's just going to take some time to get done. Now we do have our Frostbite, and our Frostbite Armor, which is really nice because it's very similar to our Phantom Armor. It only does a teeny bit more of health, um, but pretty much everything else is the same except it does spawn a Snowy Companion for us if we really wanted to have that. Now, it's cool. Death order. Okay, I'm trying to remember what all we actually ended up putting on this. I think what we did was the soul speed. Yeah, I think that's what we had. But I think I'm actually going to stick with our phantom armor for the time being. Because I feel like it caters a little bit better to what we're looking for. The phantom armor is nice. It just doesn't have the enchantments on it that I would really like to have. Let's see what we got in the in the merchant here. Now we do have the broken saw blade that you can get. We can do a restock here. Let's see what else we could potentially get. Nothing too crazy here. So that's perfectly fine. Let's keep moving on. The luxury merchant. Do you have anything? You don't have anything. A snow bow, a trick bow, and then a shock powder. Why don't we do a restock? We haven't done a restock in this bad boy for a while. And eh, it still didn't really yield us anything that amazing. Now, I do believe we're supposed to be able to get, like, a pet and stuff like that, I thought. Um, not 100% sure. Let me let me take a peek. Hold on a second. All right, guys. So, I was just looking around online on the old interwebs, just seeing about some of those additional free things that um, came with the DLC as well. Um, there was mention of, like, the 10 million... Um, Reaching 10 million players here. Let me see if it, it pops up over here. Ancient Hunts, we already did that. Yeah, 10 million euros. Uh, to celebrate this, amazing, we're supporting the game. We're releasing a free cape and pet on February 24th. That's kind of cool, but like, I don't know where that ultimately happened. Maybe I have to switch to online. Let's see. Okay, so it's an online now. Can I change? If you go into here, we can change our skin. And it said that it had a cape, but um, as you see, we have all the DLCs there. Not 100% sure here. 
Well, we can change our, our skin to be a different one from one of the DLCs. These are the two nether ones, um, which is pretty cool. We could look like... That's actually kind of... Oh, that's really sick. Okay, we're going to do that. That looks kind of cool. Um, the online didn't offer me anything different in terms of a pet or anything of those sorts. So I'll have to look into it a little bit more. It's perfectly fine. Or if you guys want to let me know in the comments down below, feel free to let me know down there. But in that, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. That is going to wrap up the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Better yet... Hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Um, we'll let you know every single time I post a new episode to the channel, especially if you hit that notification bell. I do stream over on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. We currently stream on Mondays and Fridays at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have a community Discord set up if you feel like joining that, and I do post updates over there around our scheduling or any changes. I also will maybe post polls over there depending on where we're going with our different theories here on the YouTube's. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging with me today. I appreciate it so very much, and I will catch you all in the next one.